2020 has been a year unlike any other. In the face of a global pandemic, pivot quickly became the word of the year. We were pushed to our limits and challenged to bunker down and shelter in place for the sake of the health of our loved ones and the people around the globe. We came together in new ways and were able to expand our reach through technology and social media while never ceasing to pursue our call to share the message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We would like to thank you for continuing to stay connected to Carolina and growing with us despite the hurdles, the challenges, and the losses that 2020 brought to your doorstep. Join us as we take a look back at the year that we all learned to rapidly embrace change. We thank God for the leadership of Pastor Anthony E. and Lady Cynthia Moore for championing the charge and reminding us that Carolina Church was created to make disciples, mature believers, and master our lives to live to our fullest potential in Christ. The year 2020 pushed each of us to our limits and Carolina fully embodied the phrase, church is more than Sunday. Together with our leadership, we reimagined church outside the four walls of Carolina. We truly were poised to grow and to adapt to the rapidly changing world around us. We gathered together both online and in person through ministry events. We reached the world via technology. We offered our best by giving above and beyond our tithes. We met the challenge of COVID-19 by continuing to do ministry effectively and keeping the congregation and viewing audience connected. And we watered our seed by continuing to pour into our members, local and international partners, and we built new relationships with those in need of Christ around the world. God challenged each of us to listen closely as he was speaking throughout the year. From meeting weekly in our sanctuary and utilizing our brick and mortar facility to broadcasting the message of Christ online, 2020 taught us the value of connecting in new ways. We quickly adapted to streaming services online with a greater focus on making disciples and making everyone feel our warm embrace, no matter where they were. We went from seeing 300 members and visitors weekly in the building to reaching over thousands of people weekly across Facebook, YouTube, Church Online, Twitter, and at carolinachurch.org. When we could not gather to hold hands in prayer, we still kept the ministry, our members, and partners covered weekly on our Wednesday morning prayer calls. When we were challenged to shift from our face-to-face -face noonday Bible study, we continued to stream our weekly growth track with Pastor Anthony E. Moore and master getting to know God, getting connected, discovering our purpose, and making a difference in the lives of others from winter to the beginning of summer. We challenged our members, partners, and visitors to press in further and do daily and weekly spiritual maintenance to read their word frequently, utilize Bible reading plans with their smart devices, and we continue to provide resources and tools to assist. Our Leadership Academy continued to meet and receive visionary direction and spiritual guidance from our leaders, Pastor Anthony E. and Lady Cynthia Moore on the definition of salvation, how to be a witness to others, how to pray, what it is to be a leader, and the expectations of leadership in the church. Also, 50 Carolina ministry leaders completed courses with our local partner, Lancaster Bible College. We held to the mandate of Proverbs 27, 17, iron sharpens iron. As our leadership team grew from the experience, skill, and wisdom of pastor and first lady. As the pandemic evolved, many people in our surrounding community experienced hardships with the loss of income, the inability to gather socially in large numbers, and develop food insecurities. Carolina and our catering ministry, led by Elder Matt Durham, partnered with St. Stephen's Church and the Capital Food Bank to answer the call of the stomachs that were rumbling and the homes that needed relief by providing over 1,000 contactless grab-and-go meals, distributed on Wednesdays and Saturdays alongside our Circle of Lights, led by Sister Martina Baxter, and Young at Heart Ministries, led by Sister Patrice Brown. We continue to pivot 
and use an innovative method to celebrate our college graduates by delivering care packages to their homes and honoring them on our live stream platforms. Carolina did even more to show how much Carolina cares by sponsoring weekly laundry services in partnership with Get A Load Of This Laundry Mat, owned by two of our members, Sister Patrice Brown and Deacon Cheryl Thomas in Temple Hills, Maryland. They open their doors once a week to seniors, families in need, the homeless, veterans, first responders, and more to provide up to three free washes and three free dryers on the house sponsored by Carolina. COVID-19 did not restrict us from growing inside our ministries. The Brothers United for Christ held a weekly Bible study trivia night in the fall led by Associate Pastor Michael Mooney. Project Hope was launched in late summer to give a safe space for members and community members to focus on their mental health, self-care, handling grief during the holidays, and understand the benefits of therapy. The King's Academy was established as a two-year program to groom men and provide a safe space for them to grow in three phases. Phase one, soldiers in training. Phase two, basic combat training, which will equip men to handle spiritual warfare. And phase three, advanced leadership training. The first class of the King's Academy received their phase one award in the fall and are well on their way to grow a new generation of leaders in the church, as well as pave the way for Queen's Court and Royal Academy to follow in 2021 with mirroring programs for our women and youth. We also raised our arms, our fists, and our voices loudly to proclaim Black Lives Matter. Following the brutal murders of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, and so many other African Americans at the hands of police officers. The world saw firsthand the residue of our nation's history that is still breathing and alive today. We tackled racism head on as a group of young adults and community members, held panel discussions on this challenging subject, and shared their thoughts as well as remedies to combat systemic racism. In response, we form the Social Justice Ministry, which reminds our members and our growing social community that your voice and your vote matter. We hosted our very first town hall centered on the 2020 presidential election and the importance of casting your ballots in every election. Although COVID-19 caused us to change our plans to host a monthly celebration throughout the year, we continue to pivot and grow with new digital formats and were able to carry on in the face of a health crisis. God kept us together as we went down memory lane and hosted a Friday night 80s bash with our resident MC, Associate Pastor Sherman Nelson. It was fun to see our members and friends of all ages together on screen via Zoom party for Christ together. We also hosted a virtual high tea anniversary celebration with over 100 positive-minded sisters of all ages adorned in glorious church hats and dainty attire. Young and old, we partied as only Carolina could while keeping our physical distance guidelines and staying safe at home. In 2020, the government and all of the national health advisors instructed us to limit our exposure to persons outside of our homes. This forced us to learn how to reach the world from the comfort of our own homes. We all embraced the age of Zoom and learned how to FaceTime wisely through social media and thanked God for high-speed internet and telephone connectivity. Our Carolina production team and digital worship leaders led the charge and kept everyone connected to the church and the word each and every single week. We were able to see the reach of God's word expand through the digital medium. We rejoiced as a couple from Barbados who watched our services reached out to connect with our Carolina family. As pastor continued to prepare the word for us, we reached out across state lines, time zones, and the digital divide to help any and everyone to see the truth of God's word from California to Paris, South Africa, and beyond. 
lives continued to be transformed and we continued to see virtual salvations and memberships grow. Each of our ministries embraced the challenge of adapting and pivoted to moving all services and ministry meetings online. Our children and youth began to gather weekly on Zoom with the launch of Blast Zone Live, led by Associate Pastor May Reed. Our young adults found their voice in the digital space as well and held monthly quarantine talks during the summer and resumed with young adult meetups in the fall. The Carolina leadership team logged on faithfully to continue to receive and adapt as the digital climate changed and gleaned knowledge from our leaders, Pastor Anthony E. and Lady Cynthia Moore. As a result, our circle of light leaders connected with more members than ever before. Our Entrepreneurs E-Society grew wings. Our seniors found comfort in hosting various online gatherings and our church as a whole joined in our monthly check-in and connect meetings with pastor and first lady. Safe Harbor Ministry also continued to help people fight their addictions by continuing to meet online. Ministry never ceased. We continue to pivot and grow. One of our most exciting accomplishments was the launch of our own Carolina Church app, which put access to sermons in the hands of hundreds of believers with Apple and Android devices. Our traditions did not waver. We led the congregation, partners, and our visitors monthly in communion services and by request distributed communion sacraments monthly as the virus restrictions lifted. We also held drive-by celebrations for pastor's anniversary, first lady's birthday, and even hosted a pull-up barbecue. We did not allow distance or technology to break our bond. As we continued to grow, we discovered that God was not only in the church, but he was also in our homes. Pastor Moore led us through anointing our homes as sacred spaces as we continued to worship more daily together online. Anointing instructions were provided to all members, partners, and visitors to sanctify their own homes and create their own sanctuary to pray during quarantine and beyond with our One Church Many Locations initiative. Once our homes were anointed, signs were printed and made available for pickup, and members were able to display their signs in their homes as beacons of light amid the clouds hovering outside. Sister Nikki Thompson displayed her sign in her home and the neighbor saw it and recognized their home as a safe place and a place of refuge from the domestic violence she was enduring. Sister Nikki was blessed to be able to minister to her and pour into her life. We also launched the Good Neighbor Challenge and invited our members to engage others in their community to see how they could be a blessing in the pandemic of COVID-19 through prayer, picking up groceries or medicine and more. This initiative even made it to the five o'clock news with Sister Robin Ball's community prayer jar. This is true evidence of Carolina transforming lives. Sister Tracy Berry was a good neighbor that was able to help transform the life of one of her business associates by sharing Carolina Church. She connected her with our Wednesday prayer call and our prayer warriors team was able to cover her needs. Sister Lynn Carpenter also was able to help an elderly neighbor in need who lived alone during the Thanksgiving holiday by preparing a holiday meal for her to enjoy. Sister Roberta Sanders also assisted her neighbor whose daughter had a lung transplant by providing money to assist her neighbor with transportation back and forth to the hospital. Together, we were able to touch thousands of lives over the last year simply by being the light that we are called to be in the world and reaching out safely to those around us to ask the question, how can I help? In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, churches around the world were challenged to bridge their technology gap instantaneously. 
Carolina Church was able to assist other ministries in need and we shared our production team as well as opened up our sanctuary to help them continue to do ministry for their respective congregations. Because of our growth and relationship, they were able to continue doing ministry through online streaming during the pandemic. We strive to continue to offer our best by paying our tithes and offerings through text to give and online mediums. Through the benevolence of our congregation, we were able to support members of our congregation and our surrounding community who fell on hard times during the pandemic through the loss of jobs and income. We were able to subsidize rent. We provided over 700 new coats during our fall coat drive for persons in homeless shelters and community members. And we also partnered with Prison Fellowship in our virtual toy drive to provide holiday gifts to 50 children of incarcerated persons. Alongside our local and international partnerships, we were able to reach thousands of people in need. Your charitable offerings and seeds supported over 100 students at Croom High School, an alternative school for 11th and 12th graders in Sheltonham, Maryland. We also continue to partner with the House DC, whose mission is to transform the lives of our inner city youth by breaking cycles and building futures, meeting their physical and spiritual needs. We supported our outreach partners to launch and excel businesses for youth, young adults, and biblical entrepreneurs with Year Up and Nehemiah Project International Ministries. We maximized resources and responded to immediate needs with Project Bridges in the greater Washington, D.C. metro area, and we provided masks to first responders in the community through our partnership with First Baptist Church of Glenarden. Your generosity continues to change lives. 2020 was truly a historic year. God has granted us a tremendous testimony of how we made it over into a new year. Amid the loss of hundreds of thousands of lives in a global pandemic, we were still able to gather together, reach the world, offer our best, and we now continue to keep watering our seeds. We've embraced technology and we shall not turn back. As we look ahead to the year in front of us, we pray for more ways to grow, even more blessings to celebrate, more lives to see change, and more ways to connect beyond the walls of Carolina Church. We invite you to continue to stay home, stay safe, stay connected with us as we look forward to the exciting things that are ahead of us this year. Now come on, on your mark. Get set, let's grow.